I, I know I'm trekking on dangerous ground when I start ph- talking about the philosophy of art, but it is a communication. You're trying to communicate to the inner, to something inside the person that's looking at your art. Well, well, in truth, I think we're all trying to connect to our our own inner self, which might be our way of connecting to a higher source. And every time we get deeper in ourselves, we get deeper with everyone around us, right? So, and that's communication. It's totally communication, and so only by going the deeper, deeper, deeper can you get deeper with anyone else. So it's a, it's a magical thing. It's kind of like we all bring these Christmas presents and sit them all under the tree and then exchange them because each person has gone about developing his own way of communicating, and it's secret to himself. And then we go, whoa, whoa, whoa you saw that, right? It's, it's so much fun. Right. Well, and what does it do for you when you say so much fun? When you know, when you look at somebody and they go, as as we did, uh, certainly the first time I saw one of your paintings, I went, I've never seen anything like that before. That was a totally unique experience. I, I remember the first time we walked in the gallery and saw it. It was like, oh my God, this is unique. And it also communi- it, it communicated. You did succeed in communicate. But when you succeed in doing that, tell me about the feeling you get when you when you succeed. Well, that's that's an abstract because you've I've spent the time to try to perfect what I know and what's real to me and what's sincere. And by doing that, I've found a level of sincerity in myself that then communicates with a part of sincerity of another person. So whereas I was admiring this physicist discovery um, I because that physicist then is attracted to my painting of a bubble he then can say do you know what makes a bubble it's exactly how the pressure from the outside affects the inside and that changes the color and about a certain color you know it's about ready to pop and it's brilliantly exciting so you've just had a brilliant conversation connection with someone who's completely not in your field because you've Going into your own. Does that make any sense? Yeah, you've gone. You've gone onto. Uh, you've gone to a level where you can communicate, right? Mm-hmm. You so, have. You have to get to that spot. You have to. And you continue. Where you have the same building. language. Absolutely. So you're continuing to get to a, a n- different and different layers every time you're reaching different parts of yourself and your own expression. You're connecting with different kinds of people and different kinds of expression. And that's, that's where the fun lies. You have new friends all the time. And, and the gallery itself, when people walked in there, you and you were able to communicate with those people inside the gallery, you must have had that kind of an ongoing experience in that, too. We did, and we also developed kind of a family feeling, because almost everyone who gravitated to the work liked each other. And when we would have, like, a gallery event, it would draw a delightful group of people um, and from all walks of life. And it was pretty astounding to see some of the collectors that we had that I didn't think would, would gravitate. I mean, because they are um, whimsical and magical sometimes, you think that they would not attract a serious um, CEO. But they did, and, uh, and, and that, that made it very much fun, too. You know, I don't uh, know very much about the art world. Uh, a painting gets done, and it's what what makes the value of an art, a piece of art. Um, I don't know if you can ask me that. Um, I, I I'm sorry, I'm getting that. into the mundane here a little no, bit. No, it's, it's it's a very accurate question. I wonder the same thing. I I only um, suspect it has to do with how well um, received the art is. I don't know because. I think an artist is not about understanding that. They're about being sure. as sincere as possible. So its value is is uh, immaterial to the artist. And that's right. why you can't so think of us like that are. when you're on the, you can't think like that when you're when you're in front of the camera. Mm, no, if you do you've just crippled your hand. Right. But you are in an industry. You, you Isn't that isn't that interesting? It might be sad, <laughs> but you are in an industry, right? You're in a business. You to, to pay attention to that part. I leave that <laughs> to the wiser people. So when you sit down, where, where, where do you decide 
okay, I'm going to paint this now. I mean, and and how is that different from where you first started? Is it different today than 25 years ago, for example, of here's what I'm going to paint? Well, my goal is to be fresh and new and walk with wonder in every hour of every day. And you're waiting, not... um, You're innocent to the moment. And suddenly you'll see something that that just delights you. And it's not, it it has to be something you're not expecting. Because as soon as you expect, you've killed the air, right? So you walk into your moment new and something absolutely charms you. And it will be something altogether different than you ever expected. I met a man recently that looks exactly like his hat, his cat's. I can't not paint him and his cats. Just, <laughs> they look alike, huh? I can't not do this. It's right. wonderful. Right. So it's it. So, but you're walking around. Are you 24 hours a day walking around, or you know, when on your waking hours, walking around uh, as an artist? You're not just an artist in front of the of the canvas. You're an artist all the time. Wow. Well, a label um, puts an ego in front of your view. So, um, for me to say I walk around as an artist already would block me. From okay, let me being rephrase. Let me re- let me change that question. You're walking around with a, with a, an artist attitude, which uh, is well, you said a sense of wonder that you walk around with. You're walking around with that attitude all the time. My goal would be to walk around completely open to the moment, completely receptive. Not knowing what in the world would be. Sometimes you don't have any need to paint for a day or two. Maybe it's about a beautiful symphony, and then when you're home remembering that symphony, you see a tree that dances to, to the symphony that you saw the night before. If you go around thinking, you know, it, it's, it's, they don't go together, the thinking as and anything. You don't go around as an electrician looking at wires, right? Well, that that's, is being an electrician an artist? In other words, are you an electrician artist? Uh, that's, I'm then sure there are some. Then wires would fascinate you and every wire you saw <laughs> right. you'd want to twist into it. Right, I'm sure there are some, but, but it, now, how fortunate and how lucky you are to be able to see that and then express it. Not everybody can do that. I mean, do you what? sometimes think I'm I'm so grateful to be who I am? Man. I would love to be able to do that. I can't do that. I, I do, but I mostly feel humble about it because I think we, sh- we all ought to be walking in gratitude for having a life. And then if we live that life, how... It's magical for us. It will be an artist's life. Whatever you're doing, if you're baking bread, it's an, it's it's a work of art, you know. So you are walking around as an artist if you're living in the moment. 